After Earth scientists still have no idea where it landed, the unmanned probe carried 12 tons of highly toxic fuel. But experts said the risk posed by the craft is minimal because most of the fuel will be burned up on re-entry. Based on the latest data, space officials think it broke up somewhere over Brazil. It was sent to Mars to collect soil slant samples and fly them back to Earth. Derp. Okay. Over here on spaceweather.com today, January 18th, 2012. Sources within the Russian Space Agency have suggested to newspapers that a U.S. radar on the Marshall Islands might have accidentally disabled Phobos Grunt. The mishap could have occurred, they say, while the radar was using megawatt pulses to track near-Earth asteroid 2005 YU-55 on the same night that the Mars probe was launched. According to an analysis by satellite tracking expert Ted Molksen, however, the asteroid was below Quadrilane's horizon during both of Phobos Grunt's passes over the radar facility. An errant zap seems unlikely. Besides, says NASA, they weren't using the radar anyway. So that's the end of Phobos Grunt. I guess they think it fell into the Pacific Ocean. Again, nobody saw this happen. Nobody saw UARS. Nobody saw ROSAT. Nobody sees any of this stuff falling down that we know of. Kind of disappointing, but I guess statistically it's kind of to be expected considering that the Earth is mostly just a wide open ocean. So, slightly disappointed that nobody got to see it, but that's okay. And I guess the one that was supposed to come down, that Cosmos satellite that was coming down after Bobo's Grunt, I don't know, I guess it came down. I'll try to find some information on that one, but that one was much smaller than any of the other ones, so. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Much love. Meow.